from the invincible rise of Manny Pacquiao to Ryan Garcia's undefeated streak ending, here's when undefeated boxers finally faced their first defeat. The anticipation leading up to Manny Pacquiao's fight against Rustico Torrecampo in 1996 was intense, albeit not as globally recognized as some of his later bouts. At the time, Pacquiao was an up-and-coming boxer with an undefeated record, and many saw him as an unstoppable force. The media, though not as widespread as today, still managed to create a buzz around this young Filipino fighter who was making waves in the boxing world. Pacquiao's early career was marked by his aggressive style and impressive knockout victories, which had fans and analysts alike predicting a bright future for him. While the fight against Torrecampo wasn't as heavily publicized as some of Pacquiao's later bouts, it still drew significant attention locally and within boxing circles. Pacquiao's team and promoters highlighted his impressive record and his ability to finish fights with devastating knockouts. Torrecampo was seen as a formidable opponent, but not necessarily the favorite to win. The pre-fight analysis centered around Pacquiao's speed, power, and relentless pressure, making him the clear favorite. Then fast forward to Ryan Garcia's recent loss to Gervonta Davis, and we see a similar pattern of hype and anticipation. Garcia, like Pacquiao in his early days, was known as an unbeatable force with a perfect record. The media frenzy surrounding his fight against Davis was immense, with many predicting a Garcia victory based on his impressive track record and formidable punching power. Social media was filled with highlight reels of Garcia's past fights, and boxing fans were discussing his potential to be the next big star in the sport. The promotional campaigns for this fight were extensive, with both fighters engaging in verbal sparring and hype-building interviews that added to the excitement. What about when these undefeated boxers faced their toughest opponents? In Pacquiao's case, Rustico Torrecampo presented a challenge that would eventually expose some of Pacquiao's weaknesses. Torrecampo was a skilled boxer with a strong chin and good defensive skills, which allowed him to withstand Pacquiao's early onslaught. The key factor that contributed to Pacquiao's loss was his struggle with weight. Pacquiao had failed to make the required weight, forcing him to use heavier gloves than Torrecampo, which put him at a significant disadvantage. Similarly, Ryan Garcia faced a tough opponent in Gervonta Davis, who was known for his lightning-quick reflexes and precise punching. Davis's ability to evade Garcia's powerful shots and land precise counterpunches was a game-changer. Garcia's strategy was to use his power and aggression to overwhelm Davis, but Davis's defense and ring IQ allowed him to weather the storm and secure a victory. The strategic preparations for both fights were intense. Pacquiao's team focused on his conditioning and weight management, hoping to avoid the issues that plagued him in the Torrecampo fight. However, these efforts were not enough, and Pacquiao's weight struggles ultimately contributed to his defeat. For Garcia, the training regimen was centered around improving his defensive skills and ring generalship, but he still found himself on the receiving end of Davis's precise counterattacks. This brings us to the mindset of these fighters as they approach these high-stakes bouts. Pacquiao, confident in his abilities and riding a wave of success, was expected to dominate Torrecampo. However, the weight issues and Torrecampo's resilience caught him off guard. Garcia, similarly confident in his power and speed, underestimated Davis's defensive prowess and paid the price. The undefeated streaks of both Pacquiao and Garcia were built on impressive victories and an aura of invincibility, but it was their first losses that humanized them and provided valuable lessons for their future careers. When Manny Pacquiao stepped into the ring against Rustico Torrecampo, on February 9, 1996, he was an undefeated 17-year-old sensation. The fight, held in Mandaluyong City, Manila, was expected to be a routine victory for Pacquiao, who had already amassed an 11 0 record. However, Torrecampo had other plans. The turning point in the match came in the third round, where a single, perfectly timed punch changed the course of the fight. Torrecampo, who had controlled the action through the first two rounds, waited for Pacquiao to jab and then countered with a hook to the body. This punch, which some argue was a borderline body shot, caught Pacquiao off guard and sent him crashing to the canvas. The crowd, which had been expecting a dominant performance from Pacquiao, was left in shock and disbelief as their undefeated hero failed to get up. The reaction from the crowd was one of stunned silence. The announcer's words echoed through the venue. Oh my God, it's over. It's over. The scene was chaotic as the reality set in that the invincible Pacquiao had finally been defeated. The boxing community was equally shocked, as this loss was not only unexpected, but also marked a significant setback for a fighter who had been on a meteoric rise. In contrast, 
When Ryan Garcia faced Gervonta Davis, the anticipation was high, but the outcome was similarly unexpected. Garcia, known for his aggressive style and punching power, was favored by many to win. However, Davis's speed and ring generalship proved to be too much for Garcia. The critical moment in this fight came when Davis's footwork allowed him to evade Garcia's powerful shots and land a decisive blow to the liver. Garcia, who had been undefeated until that point, found himself on the receiving end of his first defeat in his professional career. The post-fight reactions from both Pacquiao and Garcia were reflective of their disappointment and shock. Pacquiao, after being knocked out by Torrecampo, acknowledged the loss as a learning experience. He immediately launched a streak of 15 wins, 13 of which ended by stoppage, showing his resilience and determination to bounce back from his first defeat. Garcia, following his loss to Davis, expressed his respect for his opponent's skills and acknowledged the need to improve his strategy and training to overcome such challenges in the future. The immediate reactions from the boxing community were mixed, with many expressing surprise and disappointment at the loss of these undefeated streaks. However, both fights also garnered respect for the victors, who had proven themselves to be formidable opponents. The shock and disbelief was intense, but they also sparked a renewed interest in the careers of both Pacquiao and Garcia, as fans and analysts alike wondered how these fighters would rebound from their first losses. Next, let's talk about how a loss can impact a fighter's career and legacy, particularly focusing on Manny Pacquiao and other notable boxers who experienced their first defeat. When Manny Pacquiao faced Rustico Torrecampo in 1996, he was just 17 years old and undefeated, having won his first 11 fights. The loss to Torrecampo was a significant setback, but it did not define Pacquiao's career. Instead, it served as a learning experience that helped him adjust and improve. After the loss, Pacquiao went on to win five consecutive fights, demonstrating his resilience and ability to bounce back from adversity. This pattern of recovery is not unique to Pacquiao. Many boxers have faced their first loss and gone on to achieve great success. Ryan Garcia's loss is a more contemporary example. Garcia's undefeated streak was highly publicized, and his loss was met with shock and disappointment from fans. However, Garcia's response to the loss has been positive, with him acknowledging the defeat as a learning experience and vowing to return stronger. This mindset is crucial for any fighter looking to bounce back from their first loss. The impact of a first loss on a fighter's mindset can be profound. It forces them to reevaluate their strategy and training regimen. For Pacquiao, the loss to Torrecampo made him realize the importance importance of focus and preparation. He had to adapt to different opponents and situations, which ultimately made him a more well-rounded fighter. Ryan Garcia's loss to Davis will likely prompt him to reassess his approach, perhaps leading to changes in his training camp or fight tactics. In terms of legacy, a first loss can humanize a fighter and make their subsequent achievements more relatable and impressive. Pacquiao's ability to overcome his early defeat and go on to win multiple world titles in different weight classes is a testament to his resilience and determination. His legacy is not defined by that single loss, but by his overall body of work and the numerous accolades he has achieved throughout his career. Other notable boxers who experienced their first loss and went on to achieve greatness include Sugar Ray Leonard and Thomas Hearns. Both fighters faced significant setbacks early in their careers but used those losses as stepping stones to greater success. Their legacies are marked by their ability to adapt, overcome adversity, and continue to perform at the highest level. A first loss is not the end of a fighter's career, but rather a turning point that can lead to growth and further success.